hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about keeping a tidy house. I actually have to make a confession. I do have a lady that comes in once a week for two hours and she completely blitzes the entire house. Basically for us it's all about maintaining that lovely clean environment. So the tips that I'm going to give you are just about keeping on top of everything, quick little things that you can do every day just to keep the place tidy. My first tip is to invest in a vacuum cleaner that does everything. I've got one and it's fantastic. It's cordless, so you just have to charge it up each time. It's really light, it's really easy to maneuver and it makes the whole vacuuming experience so, so much easier. It's also got a little handheld bit that I can vacuum the sofas with. I can use it on the stairs and just to get into those little nooks and crannies. I have two cats, so it's really important for me just to keep on top of it either every day or every other day. But having that really light, easy to maneuver vacuum cleaner makes a massive difference. I will link the one that I've got below, but obviously there's all kinds of different ones in all types of different price ranges. So rather than have something that's big and bulky, and you've got to use a ton of energy on just lugging it around the house I really would suggest that you get something that's far more portable and you are so much more likely to keep on top of it Another thing that I suggest is to keep a little caddy. You can get them really cheap, like a little plastic caddy or even a plastic box and filling it with multi-surface cleaners. That way, if you just need to go round and do a quick clean, you can use whatever's in that box. You're not having to constantly run back to the cupboard to get different cleaning products and cleaning supplies. Again, it just makes life easier. Just having that one box that you can take from room to room. Another thing that I like to do is to declutter at least once every six months and either sell or donate. If I'm not using something frequently and I don't really get any joy out of it, it just sits at the back of the cupboard, I don't see the point in keeping it. So as I said, you can potentially make a little bit more money from selling it. And I feel like shedding all the stuff that I don't use is a really nice feeling. It's not getting in the way anymore and the house is so much tidier as a result. I personally absolutely hate cleaning so anything that I can do to take my mind off the fact that I'm cleaning is a godsend. I like to listen to either Spotify, like some playlists, different types of music or podcasts or audiobooks as I'm going and I tend to forget about what I'm actually doing and I just go on to autopilot because I'm listening to something else and it makes it that much more enjoyable because it feels like it's time that I'm having to myself rather than it feeling like a chore. Making beds every single day is so quick, it's so easy, but it makes a massive difference. I try to make the bed every single morning once I've got up and there's something about a freshly made bed that just makes me not want to put any more clutter on top of it. Another thing that I like to do, and this is for people who have dishwashers, is to unload the dishwasher first thing in the morning and then fill it back up with the dishes that I'm using throughout the day rather than just stack them up by the side of or in the sink. It's so much easier then. I can just put the dishwasher on just before I go to bed and then it's all done. There's no clutter and there's no dirty dishes lying around the kitchen. My final tip is to have a place for everything and then everybody knows where it goes. So the baby's toy boxes are in a certain place we keep the vacuum in its own place we have places for shoes so they're not lying around the house and again it just makes things more organized and easier to find so they're my tips for having a tidier house if you've liked this video please like it and subscribe if you're new thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye